Well, hi there, pluckers. I've a sore finger again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for another guitar lesson. This one is in response to a request I've had for a lesson on a song called Pinball by a certain Brian Prothero. Okay, I will put a link in this description box which takes you to a video of uh, Brian Prothero playing this song. Okay, uh, I'm in standard tuning, no capos, doing it in the same key as uh, Brian Prothero. Okay, so without more ado, I shall go through the intro, the first verse stroke chorus, and the second verse stroke chorus, break it all down for you, and show you exactly what it did, and you'll be good to go, because that's all there is in the song. Okay, it just repeats a load more of the uh, verse stroke choruses. Okay, so here we go. Let's get to it. As usual, singing for reference only. I am not making a cover version. Okay. <laughs> So the introduction is basically I'm playing a D minor seventh, okay? So just the top four strings I'm interested in really. Fourth string open, D string, second fret of the third string, the G string, and then I'm barring the first two strings, one and two, on the first fret. Okay? D minor seventh. Second chord is a G chord, so you just move that shape up two frets. So you're barring the first two strings on the third fret. And the second finger is playing the fourth fret of the G string, the fourth, uh, the third string, and the D string is still open. And again, just those four strings: four, three, two, one. Okay. And it, what it is, it's basically you hit the fourth string open, and then you do two down strokes on the chord. So, okay, boom. And then a very quick up stroke. Okay, very light. And then two hits, no D string, no separate D string, just two strums on the uh, G chord. Okay, so just practice that. Okay. Right, and then the next bit on this G chord is to put your pinky, holding the G shape that you've got there, add your pinky to the fifth fret of the top E string and then off so on off okay so down stroke with it on take it off up stroke okay four string down strokes and then two down strokes, no D string, just two down strokes on the G. Pinky on, down, pinky off, up. So and you do that four times, okay? And that's the intro, okay? So let's just do that in complete four lots of this then, okay? Slowly, okay? And then he comes in with the singing, and the singing is uh, the chords for the singing are exactly the same to start with, okay. And there's no pinky involved, so it's just 
hit the fourth string two, two down strokes on the old D minor seventh as usual and then when you get to the G it's just two down strokes and that's it Okay. No pinky involved on the verse. Okay, just the intro. Okay. So it goes. I proud of Pedro. I feel like an angel. Music pours me once again. Okay, got that? So we just go through that again. I proud of Pedro. Again. Now, instead of going to G this time, we go to D7. Single strum on D7. Okay, then we add pinky to the third fret of the first string, the top E string, two, and downstroke two on that. And then, and then take it off and strum again. So it's. So you end up with this. Okay. Then we go to a G minor seventh chord, barring the third fret and single finger on the 5th fret of the A string, the 5th string, G minor 7th, okay, pin on the B flat minor, pin ball, so that's A minor, up 1 fret, with a bar, B flat minor, or if you're playing B minor, down 1, <laughs> if you're used to playing B minor, it's the same shape, but down 1 fret, okay, B flat minor, okay. So, so far then we've got, uh, so just do the first bit, okay? Okay, then we play an F chord, F bar chord if you like, or just a straightforward simple or F if you like, whichever. And I know the longer G, good old G, okay? Know it all. So that's. Um, I've on the pimple. I know the longer, know it all. Okay, so that's G sharp, uh, G minor 7 to B flat minor to F to G. And then we go to B flat. I'm playing a lazy B flat. Now, which is so you can play it with the three fingers like that, or you can play it with a single finger. First fret bar chord, and I'm fretting the fourth, third, and second strings with my third finger on the third fret. Or you can play it like that. Or you could actually play a sixth fret bar chord if you if you so wish to do that. Whichever version you prefer, okay? So you could do that uh, where it goes. Oh, sorry, that's, that's not right, sorry. Should have missed that G, sorry. So let's do it again. Okay, so you could do it like that. And then the next final chord is A7. So you can play an A7 bar chord if you so wished there. Okay, so it goes a G, B flat, A7. Okay, but it's, as you're playing this down here, it makes sense to try and keep your hand down here rather than keep moving it around. So that that's the logical. B flat, I think, or three fingers, whichever one. Okay, so from the uh, from that G minor seventh, because I've been on the B minor, flippy flat minor, pinball F, and I no longer G, no more B flat, and he say that you never A seventh. That's an A with an open third G string. No 
know that you're in back to the D minor 7th say. and it goes straight into the next verse there's no gap okay so it goes straight into so it goes um, and I've been on the pinball and I no longer know it. and they say that you never know that you're insane got peas in the bedroom got flies on your back And so on, okay? So we'll just go through the whole intro and the first two verses, stroke choruses, uh, slowly. Okay, here we go. Then. I'll do two I'll do two intros rather than four to keep it uh, sensible, okay? Here we go. <laughs> And so on, and there you have it. Okay, it's that simple. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.